Welcome to the Sacred Medicine Podcast. My name is Margaret Romero. I'm a Columbia-trained functional medicine nurse practitioner, and here I uncover the truth behind chronic illness so that you can finally heal. I'm a women's health and hormone expert and love empowering women to finally live their life fully and powerfully through optimal health. This is the Sacred Medicine Podcast. This is the Friday edition of the Sacred Medicine Podcast. I am your host, Margaret Romero, and today we're talking a little bit about exercising during an autoimmune flare. And I think that this is perfect now that the weather is becoming so much nicer. It is feeling like spring out there. And with summer being around the corner, I just wanted to highlight some of the things that you should and shouldn't be doing during a flare. Let's talk about some of the things you should not be doing. So definitely stay away from things like high intensity, running on the treadmill, you know, just doing very high impact, any sort of cardio, you know, even if you're doing spin classes, you know, those can sometimes be, those are very intense actually. They're 45 minutes to 60 minutes and that's just way too intense. I know everyone is taught, you know, exercise, exercise, exercise. And I, I agree with that to an extent. But when it comes to autoimmunity, when you work out too hard, if you're doing a high packed anything, it's actually causing more stress on your body and more inflammation. So it is a stressor. I mean, bottom line, it's a stressor, even for people who do not have any sort of autoimmune issue. Working out to that intensity is a stressor on the body. I mean, without a doubt, on the joints, when you're running, so on and so forth. So the biggest takeaway is let's just reel it back a little. I mean, I'm not telling you to be a couch potato either, but let me, I will say, listen, if you're having a lot of aches and pains, if you're having like low grade fevers, your lymph nodes are swollen, you're in a definite flare. I need for you to really slow down and take care of yourself. And maybe working out is going and sitting in your bathtub with some Epsom salts and relaxing in there. And maybe doing just some mild, you know, some yo- really light yoga stretches. Because trust me, I know what it feels like to walk and feel tremendous amount of pain all over my body. Forget even trying to like walk down the street. I could barely even walk up and down stairs. I mean, so I get it. Flares are the worst. Okay. So, but I think we have it so like drilled in our minds and in our brains. It's like, we have to exercise. Okay. Let's just exercise. And I know I don't feel good, but the doctor said, this is really going to help me. But No, no. If you are feeling achy and just not well, the last place you need to be on is a treadmill. I mean, you're inflamed. Now, do you want to walk outside? I would say sure. Maybe for like 20 or 30 minutes. Whatever you want to do that you feel well enough to. Sometimes you can't even walk. I mean, sometimes you're so exhausted because your adrenals or you have pathogens or you have parasites or who knows what. And so then you're going to like go to the gym or you're going to go for a run outside. No. I mean, why would you want to put this added stressor in your body? It's a really already dealing with so much stuff, you know? So no high impact, anything. If you want to walk great, 15 minutes, walk somewhere, 15 minutes back. That's 30 minutes right there. Um, I would love it. Let's talk about some of the things that you should do. I would love it if you could um, meditate. I mean, that that would actually help you with your pain. It would help decrease your stress levels, which in turn help your body. Um, some mild yoga stretches. Now, look, I'm not saying you have to do downward dog, be on your knees, arm one one leg back, the other arm up. I mean, no. I couldn't even get on my knees. Are you kidding? So... None of that mild stretches, even in your bed is fine. Um, Like I said, walking is good. 
I would say restorative yoga is amazing. If you can find a restorative yoga place near you, I would go. That is so extremely nourishing for your nervous system. Extremely. Now, can you do restorative yoga at home? Well, the thing with restorative yoga is that everything is props, yoga props. So you've got the a ton of these yoga pillows um, that you're laying on. You're laying on some, like there's just a million yoga props that, you, that typically most places where you go to do restorative yoga, they have all of that. It would mean if you wanted to do it at home, you would have to somewhat invest in some of these things. Now, can you use regular pillows? Sure, you can use regular pillows as long as you have sort of somewhat firm ones. Um, and you can get a couple of yoga blocks too. I have a yoga block here um, that I use that I use for some poses, but you can certainly do that and then do restorative yoga poses at home. If not, find a restorative yoga near you and go even if you could just make it like once a week. So those are my recommendations. Stay away from anything to that that's just this is the thing. If you're doing some type of or form of exercise and you're like, you know what, I'm going to do this. It's going to make me feel better. Um, And you are exhausted, like that puts you out, like you get home and you have to sleep for four hours. No, that's not good. That means that your adrenals can barely keep up with you. Um, Your adrenals, you've got toxin overload, you've got... um, I mean, there's so many things that could be happening. You could have thyroid problems, hormone imbalances, if you feel that exhausted. Maybe you're not even sleeping. Maybe you, you're not even sleeping through the night and you could barely even, you know, muster up any sort of exercise because you're just so, so exhausted. I've been there, done that. I know exactly how that feels. Do you really think that you should be working out at a gym when you could bear like your body could barely get you through the day? I don't recommend it, honestly. So, of course, people heal. And as long as you're giving your body what it needs and the nutrients and you get some really amazing tests, functional tests, find out if you've got pathogens in your gut, parasites, worms, H. pylori. These exist. I see them every day, checking stool samples. Maybe you have one of these and and nobody's checked it before. Then I would find a functional medicine provider and get these tests done. Someone that specializes in autoimmune conditions. I am one of those people. So if you have any questions, just reach out. Look me up on Instagram or my website, margaretromero.com. But the last thing you want to do is knock out the last bit of remaining adrenal function that you have by trying to work out because someone told you that it was amazing for you. Well, not during a autoimmune flare. No, it is not recommended. Take care of yourself, nurture yourself, hot baths, um, maybe a, a very light, very gentle massage. You know, something that's just going to help soothe your body. Take some magnesium. You know, the last thing your body wants, trust me, is to be like running on some treadmill or um, taking some spin class, God forbid. Now, if you're feeling well, obviously, go for it. I wouldn't overdo anything, though. If you're in the midst of a flare, do not overdo it. You're just not going to be able to function either that day or the next, you know, Um, I've seen this so much also where women try to, you know, you sort of overdo it. We're overzealous with the things that we're doing. We're going to clean the house today and then we're going to go to the gym and then we're going to go food shopping. Then we're going to come home and we're going to do laundry and you're in the midst of a flare. Like relax, don't do everything and not everything has to be done all in one day. Spread it out and make sure you're sleeping and eating really well. Like so critical, so important. Find out if you have food sensitivities because the things that you're eating, even healthy foods, avocados, um, cucumbers, like who knows, 
could be actually bothering you and causing inflammation in your gut after eating each one of these foods. I mean, it could be gluten. It could most likely dairy. And so I would then allow yourself to relax on the days that you're feeling at at your worst. Just rest. I know that maybe you cannot rest all day and you've got things to do and you have kids and you have to do all these things. Okay, I get it. But if you're in the flare, you don't want to have to do all those things and then try to get to the gym and then trying to get on your bike and then trying to go for an hour and a half walk. Like, no, it's not happening. Don't don't put your body through that. So that's my message for today. Just nurture yourself, eat really good food, find yourself a functional medicine provider. If you don't already have one, that's going to work with you. That's going to figure out why you are in so much pain and why you're in the midst of a flare and reverse it for you. Give you the supplements that will help reverse that inflammation, but also finding the root cause of the inflammation, finding out why you have all of these symptoms to begin with. But overall, the message is take care of yourself. Do not push yourself beyond your own limits if you are in the midst of a flare. All right. It is Friday. Have an amazing weekend wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for listening today. Be well, be happy, be healthy. And I will talk to you guys all next week. Bye for now. All right, just a quick announcement. So I decided to open up my lupus membership, which currently right now are just for my premium members who are part of my huge lupus program. And I decided to open it up with a Q&A call every month, as well as a guest speaker. And so you have access to both every month. And so questions, health questions, medical questions um, about lupus, um, autoimmunity, blood work. What does this mean? What does that mean? Is this a rash? What is this rash for? (laughs) Um, You actually have me, a medically trained person who will be answering your questions accurately rather than, um, you know, people like, well, I think it may be this, or "Hmm, I think maybe it's that, but I don't know. My doctor told me to do this, but no, there's no more guessing about anything. So I oh, I decided to open this up and have more women get more informed answers to all of their questions rather than having sort of a community trying to guess what this is or what that is and what to do with this or that. I think that when you have an autoimmune condition and you're suffering and you're going through something, You can go into a community, which I love, and when you ask a question, it could be answered, but no one is really medically trained to really answer your questions. And so that's why I decided to open mine up, my membership up, and let's get you some good answers. Let's get you the right answers here. Um, Rather than having like going through and like, I don't know, my doctor said this, and I don't know about that, and what does this blood work mean? Um, I love, I love, love, love answering questions like this. So this is coming very soon. It starts in April and I want to offer three women a free month. If you write a review for this podcast and take a screenshot and either email it to me or DM it to me on Instagram, I'm at Margaret Romero. And let's go. I'm excited for this. This starts next month. And so I am going to keep listening because let's see, probably next week I'm going to have the link. I'm going to have everything ready for you. And then I'm going to be picking picking three women. You have till the end of this month, March, until the end of March to write a review. And then I'm going to pick three women to have a free month in there. So have a beautiful weekend and I will talk to you all soon. Thank you so much. If you have been inspired and have learned so much from these interviews, I would love for you 
to head on over to iTunes, leave a review and subscribe to the podcast. Thank you so much for listening. Bye for now.